What's happening, Tabletop Gamers? My name is Lunar and welcome back to Lunar May Unboxes. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Ticket to Ride New York by Alan R. Moon and published by Days of Wonder. Now, obviously, this is a spin-off to Ticket to Ride, but let's go ahead and look at the back of the box anyway. See what it's about here? Welcome to the 60s. It, oh my word, this font is terrible. Admire the stunning view from the Empire State Building, the world's tallest skyscraper, or take a walk through the magnificent Central Park. Go from the Times Square to Brooklyn to do some sightseeing and enjoy. Man, that was actually kind of hard to read, to be honest. Anyways, two to four players, 10 to 15 minutes, so it's supposed to be a shorter version of Ticket to Ride. So with all that said, let's have a look at what this little game has to offer us. What do you got uh, for us, Ticket to Ride New York? <laughs> Alright, well, oops, sorry about the camera, looks like a, the rule book kind of looks like a passport. Interesting design choice, I would say. Alright, let's have a look at the board here. Okay, obviously this is supposed to be New York, so it's a small board. These spots are pretty thick, I must say. Pretty good artwork, I would say. I do like the idea of having like products from the time. That kind of makes it, it stand out a bit more. Not sure that's enough to make it feel like the 60s though. But anyway, that's the board. Not bad artwork, I would say. Let's have a look at the rest of the components here. This is a score sheet, okay. And by the looks of these symbols, looks like there's actually gonna be an alternative way of scoring. Interesting. Let's have a look at these. I do like the idea of changing up the colors instead of the stereotypical red, white, heat, uh, blue, and green. Uh, nice plastic taxis. Pretty thick. Can't really squeeze them, so that's nice. So you're going to have to try really hard to break these things. Not that I would. I also like the idea that had they made them taxis instead of something like a bus or a train cab. Although I don't think... Did they have subways back in the 60s? I don't know. Alright, let's have a look at these cards here. Let's see how they look. Well, already looking at the back here, I like the artwork for the back. This is definitely more of a 60s vibe to me. 20 cents for a ticket? That's pretty cheap. Let's have a look at the cards here. I mean, obviously, like, they're going to be this, either mostly the same. I do like the art for some of these so far. This one definitely gives me a little bit of a 60s. I have not seen in these since. Then again, I'm not from the 60s, but I have seen pictures of these. And I don't think I've seen them today. So that looks like a little rail car. Interesting. Interesting looking bus. Is that another rail car? Looks like a subway car. Okay. That's definitely a 60s style thing. And with the little antenna on it. Yeah, that's definitely a 60s vehicle. This just looks like a stereotypical school bus. Anyway, at least it's easy to tell them apart. Well, I guess the red and the pink. Where is that? Yeah, red and pink and orange might be a bit hard to see. But they did have these symbols here, which will definitely help. Okay, let's go ahead and look at these tickets here. Obviously, like I said, these are the backs of the tickets. Again, again and like I like this word here. It's all pretty easy to see. I do like the little uh, product placements here. Probably would have made the background a little bit darker to make the ticket stand out a bit more. But that's just my personal opinion. Let's have a look uh, at the tickets themselves. Pretty much that's what you would expect. The little destinations between the two areas and the points you'd get. Although I do like how they kind of actually added more color to these tickets instead of just making them black and, and white, just like the uh, normal ticket to ride. I think that made it a little bit more eye appealing to me. But again, that's just my opinion. So, that is everything you will get if you obtain Ticket to Ride New York. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. That means a lot to me. If you want to know how to play Ticket to Ride New York or you want to know my thoughts on it, 
make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, reviews, and unboxings. Thank you all as always so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.